No, no, I will, I will download. I make the link. Okay. Eugene. You got a lot of empty nuts in here. Just for two minutes. Wonderfully. I didn't even use my towel today. Yeah, we'll wait a couple minutes. Yeah, for sure. It's still two minutes. It's uh, 56,000 years old, 56 years old, uh, thousands years old. And uh, for nowadays, it's the oldest and uh, best methodology, met not methodology, but kind of science and uh, way how to develop, how to self discover yourself, self discovering system. And uh, I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, why it's the best, why we can compare it with sport or for, with other course with concentration or just meditation and something like this. Did you put start? It's been going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, where yoga, uh, where did yoga come from? Where are yoga from? India. 
where are you going from? No? How you, well, how you think? It's not like you don't know you're bad. No, what do you think? Because I didn't know too. I asked and I uh, asked to dig, I started to dig and I just. I, I, I came up in the uh, Southeast Asia. Service? So yeah, we know the uh, India, yeah, the uh, motherland of yoga, but India just saved the yoga. It's the place where they say yoga 56,000 years. Yeah. It was before Indian period of man. There is no India before. Yeah. And it was uh, the, in some scri uh, scripts, uh, it says the people from north came to India and bring knowledge. People from north. So it's not the India. India is safe the most. Add something and uh, just save for nowadays. And uh, one of opinion, and um, it's a uh, pretty interesting opinion, it's, it's the hyperborea. Can I hear yeah, it's please. worse? Because I, yep. I don't want yep. to. You're good. <laughs> uh, hyperborea. Borea. If you Google it, it will tell you it's a uh, myth. It's, uh, it's not real place. It depends on how you see it. Um, it depends on your knowledge, what you know now. And uh, it's maybe the fairy tale for you, maybe the real thing. You know the um, uh, talks about flat and round world? Mm -hmm. So if you start to discover this, maybe you find some answers. Yeah, and uh, yoga came uh, for some scripts, yoga came from, from here. People go to India, and just in India it saves. Other places it's just spread. And in old times, uh, not everybody practiced yoga. Not everybody. Women don't didn't practice yoga. Yes. Nowadays, just women practice yoga. We see how many how many women in the yoga room. Yeah. And uh, men just who open, who really try to um, improve yourself, they come to yoga room and practice. But uh, the oldest time, the thousands of years ago, just kings and um, the um, how to say generals, the, the warriors can practice yoga, or wise men, the brahmans, they call brahmans, and they can practice. Uh, they can uh, practice yoga. Not everybody. Nowadays, uh, the we can not we, but people trying to popular it and save it and it's spreading and everybody can and when more you spread the more meaning you lose so now we think yoga is physical exercise that's good people practice just physical exercise that's good too but they lose their uh, main point the bullet their um, how to say bullet meaning or the, the heart the heart of practice and um, the word yoga means uh, the, it's around 50, 52 meanings in Sanskrit with, with yoga. It's the union, it's the control, effort, and so on. So everything, if we like, um, for nowadays in interphysical practice, we use yoga as control. What to control? What we control with yoga? Uh, in potential, in potential, we, we are practicing. We are uh, we are on this way, but in potential, in the future, what what we have to control with yoga, with physical practice? What do you think? Your what mind. we? What? Our mind. Mind. Yeah, yeah, mind. Yeah, mind. And through this position, through this curious and interesting position, we are trying to control the goal of yoga. That's chitta. It's Sanskrit words. Chitta reaching your heart. This means uh, to stop fluctuation, an uh, uncontrolled fluctuation inside of your mind, inside of your mind. And uh, when you, I, I think you felt it when you just driving, and it's like a stream of thoughts going through, and you already forgot what you when it started, what what uh, thought was uh, which thought was first. You already lose the start. Yeah, it's like you open the Instagram and uh, why you open? 
I want I wanted to write somebody, but I started to scroll and lost the, my thought. Yeah. So if you are American. Yeah, and same thing. It's for, for away. Yeah. And same thing here. Uh, if we don't pay attention, it eats a lot of energy inside of our body. A lot of energy. Just thoughts. Just thoughts. And uh, um, and we use hatha yoga. Fism is hatha. I will explain it later. But Ashtanga Hatha, Hat is Hatha Yoga, Chair Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Face Yoga, Hatha Yoga. Everywhere where you do physical exercises or breathing, it's Hatha Yoga. Everything. Even it's called something else, it's Hatha Yoga. There is Hatha and Raja Yoga. But about this later, I'm just going too much forward. And um, where you, when you engage a lot of muscles, um, it depends on the of condition of your body. For example, push-up position for somebody, piece of cake. But for somebody, that's hard. You can't think. You can't think. If it's too short, it's getting easier, and you can go through. Oh, so cool, I can do everything. But the goal of yoga to bring you in uncomfortable uh, place, to make it your practice uncomfortable, not to take pleasure. And through this, when you contracted all muscles, you are shaking and sweating, you can think your brain is a huge, like separate living organ who decides, okay, that's too hard to think for me now. I have to bring all energy and intention inside of your muscles and survive. All this guy will die from that yoga mat. So, and he, it cuts all your thoughts. You can't think about your dinner or about your meeting. You think how to survive and how to, to hold a couple more breaths in position. Yeah, I think you got, if you practice in FISMO or other styles, and um, uh, this way we stop, we stop thinking and uh, rolling our uh, thoughts. And uh, when you practice more regularly, you like clean uh, your head from your thoughts you don't need, which bother you in, in a daily life. And uh, its condition became more stable, not just in yoga mat, the more you practice. The more you have this sensation outside into your work, into your life, you can more focus, you can be more focused like the laser. Not doing something. I know people who can tell I can do a uh, different uh, few things at the same time. But, <laughs> but yeah, you can, but to focus on one. You can do everything with the same focus. You focus on one and do the rest with me just automatically. So don't uh, uh, tell the fairy tales for your own. It's the maybe do heat no yeah. turbo. No. If you want to uh, turn on heater, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, and how? Um, why we have energized? So energized after practice. Yes, first half an hour we're tired, but after a while, like. Uh, the better is somebody put better in my hands. I can run more, I can do more. <laughs> yeah, sorry for my slang. Um, it's easy to understand things <laughs> yeah, when you use these words. And, uh, and um, um, even science proved when we contract muscles, for example, biceps, that's uh, uh, what we can explain right now. When we contract it, we have signal to the brain. It's contracted and you have to bring energy to contract and to lift something, even hand, even palm. And we have, when we do stretching, we have uh, muscles connected on the edge of our ligaments and bones. And we have same, absolutely same signal to brain. Because when we contract muscles, it's like stretch, it's, ten, it's standard. When we stretch, it's standard. Same, but brain uh, gets same signal to the brain. But when you stretch, you don't use this energy. You just stretch. You don't contract it. Yes. When you contract, you use. So the yoga, or if it's properly yoga practice, that's very important. If it's properly yoga practice, you stretch one side, other contracted. You contract one side, other stretching. Yeah, and this way, when you contract. Energy go and you use it. It goes inter and you use it. You use calories and so on. Energy, blood or something else. When you stretch, you don't. 
and all energy packed inside of your muscles, inside of your tissues, inside of your cells. The oxygen, the vitamins, the energy, together it means energy. It's not something flowing. It's been flowing too, but it's easy to understand for our brain. It's like electric electricity. And it's fact in all your body, all your muscles, when more you practice properly, it became like a huge accumulator. That's why we feel so energized when we properly practice. When we not just stretch, when we contract and stretch. Here I stretch one side and other contracted. Other way we contract this and stretch this one. So it's like balanced. And you energize your body like a battery. That's, that's why you feel Whoa, so cool. I was dying on a yoga mat, but in one hour I can do everything in the world. I don't need to sleep. So that's how it works. You became like, I think saying the word in uh, English, ant antenna. Yeah, antenna, same word. Yeah, mm -hmm. antenna. When you have, when you energize your body with breathing, with your, uh, engaging muscles and stretching at the same time when you uh, listen to the trainer, uh, and uh, you we, we like the term in, in nowadays the vibration, vibrations, you, you high vibrations. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we have to do high okay, vibrations. Like and when, um, uh, we energized and we became, uh, we becoming like antenna with high vibrations. And we started to feel something different. Not just the, uh, I feel yoga mat, you started to feel other feelings you started to catch with your brain ideas you have never had in your head and you um, <clears throat> you don't react on uh, somebody's uh, bad behavior or something else so you have a mess at home you're like come on again why you didn't clean why you di didn't wash your uh, your place or something and uh, after practice so it's okay can you wash it yeah that's it your reaction is different. Yeah, that's why yoga people who practice uh, properly, uh, you see the world under other angle, other ang uh, angle. Yes, other angle. We uh, we release the stress here, and uh, after we um, we don't react. The, we don't um, regular person who don't practice. Uh, even sport helps with it, but not so. Uh, when uh, you practice yoga, you uh, um, the more you practice, uh, they can't. Nobody can catch you with hook with, to react to something. If you don't, you can react to everything. Even if you hit, even if somebody tells you, because uh, you stable, you bring your energy in. in you you not uh, uh, you not spread. You focused and you just. Uh, uh, you don't pay attention to this. It's okay somebody told, but you already come. You can decide. You're not focusing how to defeat yourself. You already focused how to solve this problem. If you can't, it's okay. Just release and go, um, uh, go further. And um, understand with some something. You understood something. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, maybe? Really. So it's interesting you talk about physicality versus getting into the mental because that's why I started practicing here was physical, mm -hmm. the physical part of it. And I remember being asked one time, do you ever get emotional during your practice? And I said, no, <laughs> you know, I no, never have. But the longer that I've done it, as you, as you pointed out, you, you do, you start getting more into and blocking the outside out and going in. So it takes time. It takes yes, time to it's do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's why I don't use music. Music or something, the smells or ball, I mean, the singing balls. And <laughs> but what's interesting, I used to really love the music. Even now in practices, I, I don't actually hear the music anymore. Mm -hmm. it, it's, you just, it's there but it's not something that I will focus on. Yeah. Compared to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the goal of practice to, um, uh, to concentrate 
when you get music, you get smells, you get something else, and you like, oh, 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 come on, and you don't feel it. Here, it's hardcore, because uh, I, I have, when I stop music on the lessons, I have a lot of, uh, um, how to say, the comments like, why? I don't, I want music. Like, no, we're not in a party, we're in a yoga practice. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to concentrate, and you have to go to your thoughts and listen what's happening there. And trying to concentrate and trying to cut. If you don't, then engage more. Don't relax here to wait. Okay, how many breaths? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are pushing and engaging and shaking. And that's how you clean inside of uh, organ, inside of brain. And um, I cut music, I cut everything and decided to try to listen yourself. And first to listen, after, and when you listen, you can clean. When you don't understand what's inside of you, you, can, you don't realize what you really have to work. And, um, <coughs> yeah. And, um, okay, we're done with it, with this part. I have a question. Mm -hmm. You said that um, you refer to proper yoga, right? I've heard the term that people say there's no wrong way of doing yoga. So, <coughs> how would you respond to that? When somebody tells you there's no wrong way, what would you tell that person? Yeah, good question. <coughs> good question. <coughs> um, the yoga, one of meaning, this union, the connection with, uh, with God. With, uh, uh, how to say, with, uh, um, with highest, with highest uh, meaning. And this way, yes, every connection with yoga is best. When we touch, um, in, when we go into details, because when you do yoga, we do something. We, we, when, uh, in next steps, in next part, we'll uh, describe four yogas, four different yogas. And, uh, if you go into details and you, you understand which part, uh, which way you go, you can understand, okay, I go to yoga practice, but I don't have a result. But I don't have a result, and you understand why. Um, may, maybe you have it, but not so fast how the other person have. It's normal, because everybody is different, but you understand it doesn't work at all. I feel even, even uh, bad more. And uh, the um, uh, goal of yoga, chitti, reading your heart, how we taught, to control and to stop our bad thinking, not focusing thinking, okay? And when you come on a lesson and uh, you go after and understand it's getting worse, you think it doesn't work, so something wrong, and you start to analyze, you start to looking around and to find what works. And uh, I like this system, it's about me, not about somebody. I, when I found, uh, I started to feel, okay, I'm empty after. That's something interesting, something new. I have to continue. I have to continue exploring. I have to um, watching on the people who practice this style, or this method, or this kind of yoga, and uh, uh, to see their life, uh, to see the teacher, what he uh, promote, uh, I mean, or what he tells us, and I'll decide to go uh, more or no, or to stop here and go other way. You have to analyze, it's not like, okay, go first, what, go, be careful, don't believe everybody, uh, but listen and uh, like mark inside of you, okay, it's, it, um, it works properly, how it says in the scripts, my uh, mind slowing down, okay, it works, okay, my body getting better, I more feet, more clean, and I sleep better, it works too, and, uh, and so on. My behavior changed, okay, one more, and the more like marks and uh, green buttons you collect, okay, that's closer what we have in the scripts. If not, uh, maybe to find something else, maybe not, it depends on you. Answer or no? I, I answered on your question. Or no? yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, next. We have four types of yoga, and I mean not physical yoga, total, or four yogas, all right. My dance card. It's the karma yoga. First, it's karma yoga. Uh, it's kind of e easy, <laughs> not easy, but first uh, a type of yoga. When you, you know, everybody knows what is karma. What is karma? Try to explain it. We're not in a school. 
Uh, let's talk. What is karma? Uh, it's kind of what you put out into the world. You, know, you, receive, you receive what you put out. Mm -hmm. What you accumulate. What you? Accumulate. Mm -hmm. Karma is something you accumulate through your lifetimes. Mm -hmm. Your deeds, your behaviors, your integrity, how you behave and your actions you take. There's karma that's in mm -hmm. it, it accumulates. Somebody else. Okay. Uh, so yes, yeah, together and uh, I'll add, um, you, you are right, everybody is right. Together, it's, uh, usually we use karma for bad, right? Karma will catch you, <laughs> and so on. But <clears throat> karma is just uh, the acting and reacting. That's it. That's it. If I uh, mark it here, I get a, I get a Y. That's karma. That's it. Like cause and effect. What? Like cause and effect. What? Like cause and effect. Like a consequence for everything Action, you reaction. do. Action and reaction, yeah. yeah. Uh, how um, the result you can uh, see after, uh, maybe not even like in uh, this second, maybe in years, maybe decades, you can see reaction. We can see in the uh, eating habits. A, conse First, uh, a consequence for something you do, either good or bad. So there's always a consequence for something we do, whether it's good or Not good, no bad. bad. No good, no bad. Okay. So for, uh, look, for. Um, uh, bless you. For all the time, for some people will be good. For some people bad. All the time. I like the I like the example when uh, you see the old woman trying to walk through the street. You help her, but after he kills somebody there on the corner of the street, you help her. You what you did, good or bad? You don't know. You don't know. You you you, you never know what you did. But you can listen here, not here. Here is instrument which help you to um, no. First, you where to go and what to do. You have to hear here. You have to listen from here. And how to make it? You have to listen here. So this is just organ. Same here. Same here. Here the um, instrument, uh, not the instrument. You have to feel the way where to go, how to make, how to tell, how. To where to go and how to make it, you use your brain because use, well, uh, using brain is the best what you uh, do in ma ma material world. Uh, you have to link it. But never, um, if you uh, think about business, um, of course you have to do with morals, it's from here. But this way, you try and, uh, it helps you to realize this. Just with thoughts, with good thoughts, with good um, wives, uh, you can't do, you can't act. You act, uh, the, the seed starts here, after you think how to do it, and after you do in the real. So everything happened in three uh, steps. That's uh, the willing, willing, thought, after uh, word, when you go to brain, you start to talk, and after act, it's how karma uh, karma e appears. Um, thought, word, and acting. And um, even you, if you thought you do karma, and uh, again, you did something in, or you thought something that thoughts uh, that's harder to analyze. Where I thought, where not, and it's so fast, and we can catch it sometimes. If you practice, you can. You start it to. It's like second. Like uh, sneaking between your other thoughts, but okay, I thought about this one week ago, and now I get it. <laughs> and uh, we did something, and we have a result. If you like the result, you see, of course, somebody didn't, but uh, in mostly and in potential, that's good. Why not to do it again? That's kind of good, kind of good, because uh, uh, it's uh, brought by. Like, good vibration for kind of people. Some people will tell not, that's not, uh, but uh, um, in potential that's good for everybody, even they think that's not. You have to analyze it very carefully. Uh, if you did and you see something wrong and you you did uh, not good way, uh, 
you think to so stop it, to think to stop to think about this. Um, mm, we can analyze other ways. That's why uh, it's good when we have scripts, when we have others' experience. We can analyze, but uh, sometimes it can get other way into your life. In thousands of people, it was like this, but you can change it. You can change it. You can. Um, go other way if you believe and if you really think it works but if you see if I turn on a rat and no I will not get the, uh, the bill if I turn on a rat I'm in the uh, how to say the ticket. ticket I will not get ticket I believe in it it's a system you will get it you can believe but you will get it yeah uh, you have to play with it you have to play and, and analyze it inside of you so karma, it's uh, leaving the process, analyze and decide to continue this way or stop and uh, and not to do it, it go other way. Uh, and yeah, you remember you have to go and half an hour if you want. I just remind you. Yeah. I don't want to say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next is Jnana Yoga. Jnana Yoga. I checked in English, it's how I write. <laughs> Uh, Jnana Yoga. Mm -hmm. Yoga. It's yoga about education and uh, self-education through listening. Now it's kind of no, my words. It's not uh, knowledge. I mean, uh, um, if you listen teachers, if you listen uh, um, the lectures, you read Vedas scripts. Uh, here is the main of them, I will show you after. Um, will you do through Jnana Yoga, through education, this knowledge, a way of knowledge, Jnana Yoga. And you, uh, that's hard way. A lot of books like this, you have to read, to analyze and use it into your life. Use it into your life, that's hard. Because and in scripts it says, the knowledge without teacher has no uh, results. Uh, you can try to absorb it for your own, but um, it's not the physical fact I have a teacher, I can understand. It's a mental fact. When you accept somebody as a teacher, you start to understand what's happening. It's uh, it's idle observation. Well, <laughs> yeah, read, read it. It's uh, when you accept somebody into your heart um, and you listen to him, the some of things start, will start to happen inside of your mind. It's like this person start to we have a inside of our uh, our body we have a, inside of our mental body we have a boxes dust boxes with um, old experience with previous life if you believe if not that's your problem um, <laughs> with, uh, we have a boxes with uh, remembers with experience and some of you have huge experience of previous life and we start to open it with when you practice yoga this yoga, with your contact with teacher, when you started to read, when you completed in one, like I know it, I know it before, I know why, but uh, he is, he said it, I remember, I had it inside. He just completed it with words, but it was inside of me. This means uh, I'm unpacking, unpacking. Like you in um, in computer we have zip, uh, and now you unpack it, you unzip this knowledge inside of you. That's Jnana uh, yoga. Next is Ashtanga Yoga. You know it's Ashtanga, yeah? Don't the warriors No, <laughs> it's not. It's physical exercise, it's Ashtanga. Ashtanga. Ashtanga, it's, um, uh, uh, it's eight uh, limbs, limbs way. Eight limbs all way. Uh, ashtanga is eight limbs way. We have a physical ashtanga. It's different. It's ashtanga too. Physical ashtanga. What we have in the studios, you have ashtanga too, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, no. You don't. Um, but it's almost the same. Flow and in ashtanga we have uh, solid sequences. We have solid sequences, but we will not talk about the uh, physical method. We talk about ashtanga eight limbs way, and uh, I'll go through them a little bit. It's Yama, Niyama, mm -hmm. Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, 
Harana, Piana, Samadhi. Four ways. Um, and four first. Four first is Hatha. Hatha Yoga. This uh, four Jnana. Um, Raja, sorry. Raja. Oh my gosh. Ra I think like this. Raja. You understand? Raja Yoga. <laughs> um, and uh, Fism, eight limbs way. Hatha Yoga. The full uh, heart, Bikram, or uh, Ashtanga, eight limbs. Uh, not a Hatha. Eight limbs or not eight limbs depends on a trainer who gives you the practice. If he gives you just positions and do go more and uh, go with. Uh, if he, he pushes just in the physical, that's okay, but um, yoga trainer is a little bit different from just trainer. If he will not give you the uh, meaning of eight limbs, the meaning of yoga, that's just physical trainer. That's just physical. The yoga is always the meaning. It's, it's not just physical positions. Uh, it works even if you don't believe in it. Physical yoga works. You can don't believe, but if you practice, it works. Not so deep when you dive into and trying to see details and ask questions, but it works. It's uh, something on a very um, the, uh, physic, the physic uh, subject. That's okay. Sorry. So, yama niyama, asana pranayama, that's hatha yoga. Moral principles, yama and yama is hatha too. Because how you talk, how you uh, depends on your behavior in today's life, depends on your uh, how tough and how deep will be your practice. Other four, that's Viraja, what people like to do without hatha. Just meditation. YouTube meditation or something else. Another bullshit. And um, um, <laughs> Okay. There is no, yeah, wait, I'll explain why. Right. <laughs> there is no separate things. If it's just kata, that's just physical, that's gymnastic. If it's just raja, there is no in scripts, kata yoga pradipika, you have one. It's, I think, first, yeah, we can take, if you can, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, we have a script, you can find it in the first. Uh, uh, in the first paragraphs, there is no Raja Yoga without Hatha Yoga. And Hatha Yoga without Raja Yoga, just physical exercises. If you practice Hatha for healthy back, it's not yoga. Yoga in deep understanding. It's yoga because it's called you come, came for yoga class, but it's not yoga. Uh, or when you try to meditate, you go through, you can meditate for 500 years, but without, uh, in nowadays, we have to practice Hatha. You will not get result of meditation, and uh, so fast and so deep, if you don't practice Hatha. Because Hatha, prepare, it's like you who cook, uh, I don't cook, I don't know, I just come home, and everything appears on my table. <laughs> I don't know, it's magic, but I, I have a life with secret, I think. <laughs> And uh, um, the hatha is like uh, it's preparing for cooking. And Ranja, you uh, you bring everything into the how you that is how you kitchen. Yeah, thing. not the kitchen. The big the bowl into a bowl. Yeah, into a pot in a bowl with water and cooking. That's the Raja and everything. And after its result, you have uh, something. Yeah, we we'll talk about later. And that's the. Eight leaves separate doesn't work. It, no, it works. It works. It works like uh, physical exercises. It works like uh, just sitting and thinking. It works like this. When you do properly kata, properly kata, with uh, it's kind of advertising, but whatever. Uh, I like this because when you do properly, these are brought the uh, uh, Thank you. Um, When you do properly kata, when it's hard, when it's engaged, and uh, the results, the Raja Yoga appears into your life after practice for its own, because you are empty, 
then you said, you, I think somebody of you maybe already felt it, when you finish, you need to show us and it's calm, it's, it's, um, it's empty, and you don't even hear the woo woo in a, in a neighbor room, yeah? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you have to go away to feel it. That's when Pratyahara, Haran, Kyan, Samadhi starts to work. So, just together, it's 18th way, it's Ashtanga. Any questions? No? Have questions? No? Okay. Meditation, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, we have Fism 18th way too. How I'm trying to share with you, it's I'm trying to share this as a glimpse way. This lecture is a part of this uh, way, and uh, we found it, it works too, but uh, it's, um, it's kind of physical practice. It's physical, it's yoga, it's gymnastic, gymnastic of yoga. And um, um, people very like uh, the easy way. That's why it's so popular meditation. YouTube, I told bad about that. Uh, sorry if you see me. Uh, sorry, but it doesn't work properly. It's, it doesn't work properly. 99% uh, of people just sitting and thinking they're meditating, but they are absorbing just their thoughts. What's rolling around, they think, okay, somebody came to me. It's your thoughts, it's your pictures, it's sliding very fast. You have to clean, you have to prepare your body. And, uh, uh, they don't practice, they have, they're sitting, they have lower back pain, but they're trying to meditate, you can't. In uh, here, again, says, I don't want to find it, if I find it, maybe I'll share it, I remember. Um, you have to um, make stronger your body as a, um, as a one, of your, one of your spirit. And after, you can do Raja Yoga. If you did everything properly, Raja Yoga will turn on automatically. That's it. You don't need already to do something else. People like to do over, to jump over, because it's hard. It's hard every time to come here and shaking and sweeping all the time. That's why we like easy way and think we practice yoga. Um, okay. And last, uh, yoga, that's the... Uh, do you need it? I want to clean the, this... Uh, um, the four... Parampara, it's where 
one teacher started something, yeah, and after he spread it, uh, one of his students continued this way, spread it, and so on. This parampara, when you when you go to with knowledge and spread it, and your your pupil, your students continue this way, this parampara, and uh, all parampara try to hold the meaning, hold the meaning, and uh, when you see this life, you understand this way, like holy people. They, uh, they serve all their lives just for others, try to clean their eyes, uh, their brains, and so on. Some of them try to clean their brains with physical, like not too big, but when you do it properly, it's really change your life. And if this methodology, it's like seeing a small, very powerful instrument can uh, can help you to find your life purpose and it will be what we need, what the yoga needs for. Yeah. Well, it's, it's hard. This one it's not for it's uh, not for our days. I mean maybe one day we will understand yeah, when we're going to die. <laughs> it's very hard to understand you are nothing. You are just uh, we are just uh, Compound, uh, com oh my gosh. composed ground, water, fire, air, and energy. That's it. And we eat ourselves when we eat the plants. It's the same thing. We die. We go into a plant, into into the earth, and the all plants grow from there. You know. And after we cook and eat them. <laughs> the cycle. Really, it's it's sad, but the cycle. We are eating ourselves. And imagine how many people died before. And we eat them. All of these mirrors. All this. Thank you. Uh, sorry if you're going to eat after. <laughs> or maybe you don't. <laughs> you have to wait. Uh, but uh, that's where uh, you, you have to go. Through, you have to um, think through this to understand that really everything's the same. Now, if this yoga mat, this book, or marker, it's the same components like your body, but inside of you uh, the, we have a like uh, draw of uh, God's um, God's awareness. Uh, we have to wake up. We have to wake up and remember this. We wake up not just to work, how I told in the last, uh, um, last post, we wake up, uh, eat, poop and work and after come to sleep again and again and again and after we, one day we die. That's it. We have to understand why do I live? And you, you come, maybe yoga, my grandfather practiced yoga, maybe something interesting. You start to come to studio, you start to listen to the trainer. Oh, so, oh my gosh, it's so many things and you start to absorb and understand, okay, I understand why I have to leave. And uh, your um, Daily life start to change because I understand I don't I don't have to work just to for, or I don't have to work just for work and there's a joke like I um, I go to work because I have to um, get money for a ticket to drive to work if you know you understand this I, uh, I have to get some money because next day I have to drive to work again. <laughs> You understand it's not just this. It's okay, you can work. I don't tell you, like, leave your work, no. You, but uh, the mean of your living is different. You can do same, you can build, you can do coffee, you can do drinks, or do something, massage, or yoga, but uh, the purpose of your life is different. And when you, uh, when you absorb all this meaning into your scripts, into your practice, into your own thoughts, which came through proper practice. You understand even what you do, you do it with purpose. And you think maybe the uh, spreading alcohol is not good uh, activity for me. Maybe I have to change it. Uh, or when I do something, maybe I have to do it more deeper and better because people eat this or drink it and I have to come with good mood because they drink my mood because they eat my mood that's what, very important when you cook how you feel mm -hmm. before. <laughs> no really, it's, 
not collect two hours of practice. Wait, uh, uh, husband came tired, 10 p.m. Like, wait, I have to practice two hours. <laughs> and after I cook, in the morning time, you maybe you eat, maybe not. We'll see. I have to practice again. <laughs> you understand what I, what I mean? Did you understand something? Did you understand something? Any questions? No. No. Um, we have a um, we have a scripts here. Here, Bhagavad Gita, small. <laughs> um, that's uh, the Bible of uh, Yogi. That's where Bhakti Yoga tells about. Bhakti Yoga tells uh, uh, the Bhagavad Gita was inside. That's Bhakti Yoga trying to. Also. And uh, that's the that's the fresh from all scripts. I mean fresh juice from all scripts. You can go and read all scripts, but you don't if you want to like dive into meaning very fast and deep here. But you don't understand anything if you not ask. <laughs> no really, you can you can try, you can try headache. Uh, and fast, fast sleep, uh, go to sleep too. <laughs> really, at first time it's like it's no, somebody can open and understand, really, because you change already. Mm -hmm. Here, you start to work with mechanism, with labyrinth. Here, and you change it. <laughs> uh, some of them, like, okay, next slide. Um, and uh, there's an English uh, version, same thing, English version. You, you can make out the photos if you need. English version of Bhagavad Gita, same. The, the teacher uh, who translated this Bhagavad Gita from Sanskrit, this Bhagavad Gita was translated his student to Russian. So that's teacher and student. Okay. And uh, the, um, so the main, let's go back a little bit, the main book of verses, the get figure, this one, this the main. It's all letters together, Sriman Bhagavatam. It's, it's Russian. It's a Sanskrit, it's translated into Russian and explain all words and Russian words exactly. You can after you see. And how many pages? <laughs> 1,621. Uh, Something like this. What? What's the name? Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. It's the same on English. Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, can, ask Lisa again, huh? Can you write it down? Uh, don't ask Lisa. That's why uh, study after yoga practice is better. It goes faster inside. Uh, and uh, um, I'll finish. I forgot one thing. Uh, why uh, we have, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll leave it for next uh, time, or for next lecture. Try to see and understand. And it's called get hungry. <laughs> you okay. have any questions? You understood something in my. Yes. English, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, you have questions? No. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I download it on YouTube and in stories I uh, I make the link and share the link with Lisa. We'll get it on social media. Yeah, you can go to yeah. social media. You can, if you want to share with somebody or just listen again if you want. 
If you get some something new or something new, I don't know. Yeah, thanks guys for coming. Yeah, you can see, yeah, you can see yeah.